first time in a long time, but back like I never left. I went from asking what's next to being up next. I had to get off the boat before I could walk on water. I broke the law and now I'm the Bray D. I'm a free man and I've done too much to have to be the guy to face you. I am the Bray D and it's up next mania. It's lit. watching right now know me but you don't properly know me Harrington Elliot Brayden V Chris main event of Up Next Mania 1 and Chris has a wonderful story I'm 36 years old I've got three beautiful kids Aaron Corey and Pandora I've got a beautiful fiance called Carrie, and a little border collie dog called Seb. And between them, they are everything to me. They are my world. I love them to bits. He's got lovely kids, a lovely wife, and he's doing it for them. As much as I love my life, it's been difficult. I struggle severely with my mental health. I've had issues with gambling before. Between all of that, I got COVID on Christmas Day. Growing up around these parts, I've seen some crazy stuff in the streets, but the things that Chris Elliott has seen in the streets of his mind can't even come close to what I've witnessed. I, I've gotten to know Chris the last year or so during this whole lockdown, and I have to have to admit, like, he's a devoted family guy. Like, he'll do anything for his family. He'll do anything to win this championship. Of course, all that led to the up next rumble when I wasn't in a good place and I was struggling. I'm not gonna lie, when I was entered into the Up Next Rumble, I thought that I was one of the favorites. I'm thinking I'm over here recording podcasts, I'm on the shows, like this is it, this is my moment. And then all of a sudden this guy comes out of the freaking Facebook Up Next group, Chris Elliott, and upsets the world, shocks the world. There was only ever gonna be one winner when it got to that point. Because at that stage I knew what had to happen and what had to happen was I had to win because if I didn't win then I didn't have this and I didn't have that focus something to me, for me to focus my mind on something to help my mental health to go to up next mania to take on Braden and to beat him for that title thinking about it, it gives me a focus for something that I want to get to, I want to aspire to. I've never been a champion of anything. And now was a time where I could. Fuck your kids. I don't give a shit about your kids. See, I'm a little hostile. This whole underdog story, this painting you're, 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 you're drawing for us, well, I don't like it. The ultimate underdog, huh? Chris, come up next, Mania. I'm beating you for the title. I'm going on to bigger and better things, and Chris, you can go back to your family. You can go back to your kids. You know I feed gremlins after midnight. Chris, there's only one man, one winner. It's not you. Doing this for your family, Chris, and that's wonderful. But Brayden doesn't give a shit about your family. Brayden doesn't even have a family. He's doing this for himself. 
Chris. You're an underdog. But not all underdogs go to heaven. Because I'm taking you through three stages of hell. I'm the BDE champ. I am the BDE. Chris, I got Patreon stacks bigger than you. I live with Brayden. I work with Brayden. And I see exactly the kind of psycho killer he can be when he needs to. Chris, I don't think you've got it. Please, please prove me wrong. Because that guy needs to be taken down a peg. You either die a hero or live long enough to become the villain. And Chris, that means I'm the villain. Call me the villain, but I ride and die for my BDE. Whose hoodie do you think you're wearing every day? Huh? It's mine. Brayden, I have to tell you this, and listen to me. I love you like a brother, but you're way over your head right now. The things that Chris Elliott will do to you to win this, to feed his children, to put food on the place on the table of his house that you don't have because you're still looking for a place to live. He has a house to support and you don't. Get it through your thick fucking skull. When a man has a family, the things that he does, you'll never understand. Chris Elliott will fucking murder you. You're trying to make yourself the star of the show because let's face it my friend you've never been the star of the show have you once a sidekick always a sidekick you're Davy's sidekick back in the day you were waiting sidekick on CWC you were even Jason Agnew's sidekick And whilst I can't make you my sidekick, Braden, on April 15th, I'm going to make you my bitch. Don't you dare miss it.